Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pythonic Accountant video. So today I'm going to talk through some things that I think would be really helpful for a lot of people. Um, so I often get questions from people that I work with or people that hop onto my YouTube channel about some resources, recommendations, like where to get some trainings or what kind of podcasts and different, you know, conferences and videos to watch and then other, you know, ways to kind of train up on Python. So I figured I would gather together just some of my favorites. There's so much more out there than just this, but these are ones that help shape uh, my journey into learning to be better at Python and more Pythonic, especially as a Pythonic accountant. And I figured I could uh, share with you guys. So this is a quick tour of some of the things that I have loved um, in my journey. So I've categorized it into trainings, podcasts, conferences, slash talks, and training sites. And I'll just kind of give you a preview of each of these. So we'll start with um, Talk Python. This one's been instrumental in shaping my Python journey. So this is um, by Michael Kennedy, and he does both um, podcasts and trainings, and they're all really fantastic. The podcasts are free, the trainings are not free, but they're you know very reasonably priced. So as far as the trainings go, I'm here on training .top py training.talkpython.fm and um, I haven't taken all of these courses but I've taken a handful of them and I would definitely just peruse them and you can watch a preview of them um, you can see how many hours they have and the, they don't do like a subscription instead you just buy it once and you own it forever and there's an app on your phone or you can do it on the website um, and I just love it and um, they have like a, a getting started with Python they also have like a Python for complete beginners but everything here is related to Python, but it uses you know different use cases and different libraries. Some of them are more high level, like the Python from entrepreneurs, maybe more like how does everything hit together. Um, this one's even more high level, Python for decision makers as business leaders. Some of them get really deep and technical, like you know building RESTful APIs with MongoDB and Flask. So quite a lot of stuff here. Um, definitely recommend perusing it, but I've, I've had a lot of fun taking some of his courses here. The Python for Absolute Beginner might be a good place for a lot of my viewers who are still kind of in the beginning phases of Python. So let me know if you guys take any of these and what your uh, thoughts are. Next one I would recommend is Coursera. There's a lot of excellent uh, free Coursera stuff here. Uh oh, let's restart Firefox. Hopefully this will work. Uh, while that's happening, <laughs> the Coursera content um, really with uh, Rice University was really good um, when I took that one. But the one that I really love, the content that they put out is University of Michigan. They consistently put out some really great content. Um, none of it's like super beginner that I recall, um, except maybe some. But the stuff that I really thought was good is like once you know your basics, um, you know, actually Python for everybody might be a good beginner one. But once you know your basics, some of the stuff that was really good here that I didn't see of much of in um, Talk Python is the stuff for Jupyter Notebooks. So really good training for Jupyter Notebooks on here. But again, if you just go here to this link, um, and I'll, I'll share this somewhere, probably on my GitHub, um, where just search for Python and just search for like the you know largest, highest stars and largest number of reviews. And you know you can judge for yourself. This stuff, have, it gets updated every day. So there may be more things up here. Um, you know, Udemy is also good and uh, edX is also good, but I found that Coursera typically has the ones that's the right level of difficulty and length that works really well uh, for me when I was in my journey. And I continue to take these things as I want to dive deeper into certain areas. So definitely check out Coursera. Um, the next one I'll say I, I don't get, <laughs> I do get a ton of books on Python for fun, but the ones that were really helpful in learning Python um, I'll, I'll start with Automate the Boring Stuff. This one is just classic and awesome. There, there's a free version of this on automatetheboringstuff.com. Um, and you know you can go here and you can read through the entire book um, online. And it's awesome. It's free to read under a uh, CC license. But you can also go and buy the book or buy the ebook. It's great. Al Swiger, he does a great job with this. Um, and it really goes through a lot of uh, impractical, interesting things and good business applications, stuff that applies well to the accounting world. Um, and then one that I've loved is the Python cookbook. This one's definitely more advanced. Um, and so one that you may not want to get into at the very beginning of your Python journey, but if you're looking for taking it to that next level, um, this is by uh, a couple of guys, but the main author, David Beasley, he's one I'll talk about um, in the talks section as well. 
but he has just this amazing grasp and understanding of Python. It really pushes the envelope with his kind of creativity. Uh, but it's the the cookbook is sort of organized into different you know use cases, different needs. Like one is working with XML files, one is working with JSON, one is learning with like file input output. Um, it'll have like, you know, recipes, if you will, air quotes, on how you can uh, implement certain, you know, uses of Python to solve some challenging problems there. So really cool. Definitely recommend those two. Um, from podcasts, automate, or, or sorry, the Python, um, Talk Python podcast and Python Bytes podcasts are excellent. Uh, those are here and here. So the talkpython.fm, again, that's by the same guy that does the uh, training. And he just has these awesome episodes. He's had 383 episodes. He does these weekly. And um, they, they interview different people. They do a lot of really interesting uh, different talks uh, and interviews on Python. They've got a really cool t-shirt that I love. So you know, definitely you know, recommend listening to these. Some of them may be less um, resonating with you. Some may resonate more, but if you go here and read the description of the episodes, um, you may find one that you want to dive into and, and could find interesting. Some of them get more technical, but most of them don't really talk about the code. Um, it's more high level. So that's pretty cool. Python Bytes is also by Michael Kennedy and one of his, uh, uh buddies, Brian Aachen. And, um, these are a little bit more shorter format usually. Sometimes they'll have panel sessions where they'll interview a few folks, but usually it's kind of like news updates, um, on Python or talking about certain libraries in Python that are interesting that, you know, kind of can help you keep up to date with the trends in Python and what's going on in the Python community. So definitely a great one to subscribe to as well. Um, as far as the conferences and talks go, uh, the PyCon talks are all, so PyCon is a, a conference that happens every year. Uh, PyCon US, they have a bunch of other PyCon conferences as well, but the one that is done um, every year in the US is fantastic, and you can go and look at the full playlist, and all of the videos are basically like recorded and published free on this playlist, so if you can't make it to the conference, I've never been to one, I'd love to go one year, um, you can still watch these videos, and they're amazing, they have a ton of keynote speakers, and they have um, these like lightning talks where a bunch of people have like very short format talking, um, about certain topics and like the lightning talk might have like, you know, five people who do 10 minute talks on here, for example. Um, but then a lot of them are specific topics. So if you, you know, you, you might not need to watch all of these, <laughs> but the ones that look interesting to you, um, you know, let's say you're really interested in, you know, continuous integration, you know, you can watch this talk on continuous integration. There, there are a lot of very specific ones and it's really cool getting to dive into some of these videos. Um, another one is Pi Data, which is a similar conference, but specifically um, around kind of the data side of things. So it's sort of a data science focus, but a lot of the stuff they do here also would you know, work really well in the accounting world because they deal with the pandas and NumPy libraries. So again, they publish all their videos from these conferences as well. Um, and really cool. Definitely recommend checking that out. Um, David Beasley, I mentioned earlier, he's one of my favorite characters in the python ecosystem he is hilarious and a freaking genius so he has um his own courses that he teaches online or in person they are very very um small courses and very personalized to the people that attend it they're pretty pricey so um yeah, i've never taken one but would love to one day but i can imagine they are just incredibly you know powerful and can really, you know, be a very, very quick way to get very good at Python, just getting to work directly with Dave. So that'd be pretty awesome. Um, he's got a lot of uh, video series or videos that he's recorded um, as like keynote speakers. And there's a whole bunch of other lists of talks. If you go to the more talks here, um, some really good ones. He also uh, opened up one of his Python courses that he taught for many, many years, his practical Python programming. And this now has all of the content available for free under the Creative Commons license. So really, really great stuff. I think it's underrated. I don't. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but highly recommend going to watch any of his talks, um, any of reading, any of his kind of practical Python programming materials. The, David Beasley's awesome, but his videos are, are hilarious. Like they're so funny. It's almost an art form, the way he does some of his presentations. Um, finally, I'll leave you with today some really, really um, great ways to, you know, develop and continue developing your Python skills. So PyBytes is really kind of fun. It's this little community uh, put together by Bob and Julian, 
and they um, do, you know, they'll, they'll have a presence at the PyCons, but they also have this website where you can go and subscribe to it and you can get, you know, free access to these little, you know, bytes of Python where you can, um, you know, build like, uh, or I guess it's like a little test that you try and complete some Python code. And if you get it right, you get like points or something for it. I forget exactly how it works. But they're really fun ways to just try to learn Python through like short, you know, bytes of code. I think um, you can subscribe to it with, for a fee to get access to more of them, but they're, they're a lot of fun. But check out pybit.es and you can see some really cool stuff on there. Um, and then this one is more your traditional method of kind of learning code through challenges. So these are, you have to sign up and sign in and there's a... Um, TypeScript um, set and then a Python set. I'm here in the Python set and you can just go in and click on any of those little worlds. They kind of make it like a mini game, which is fun. And um, when you click in, they give you, and again, this one has like a free version and then a premium version. And um, the free version, you, know, you get access to a lot of these things, but there are challenges that you go in and there are a lot of them are like algorithm based and see this one's locked. So I can't get this one. I can either pay for it or like get a certain number of points. Um, and you know, they make them kind of fun. They're like stories like power plants. You have to supply power to all the cities and they tell you what types of, you know, func uh, either, um, not functions, but what aspects of Python you may need to use. And so it gives you the background on the, um, you know, what the mission is and, you know, any notes that are important, they give you examples and then, um, they tell you what type of input you're going to use and what type of output. Um, any preconditions and then you know you get to try it out and if you get it great you get points if not then I think you can eventually ask for hints and then see how other people solved it you can usually find these online by googling them as well uh, but it's a lot of fun definitely recommend playing around with this stuff and it's a great way to just learn Python better and challenge yourself um, especially in different ways or if you're getting bored through kind of how you're typically learning it this is an awesome way to really learn um, how to use Python uh, in, in different ways. So I'll leave it at that. Um, hope you enjoy this video. Hope you uh, learned something from my recommendation of these awesome Python resources. If you have any additional recommendations of your own, please leave them in the comments. I know there's tons and tons of other resources out there that I did not include here, but these are the ones that were just top of mind for me. Have a good one. I'll see you at the next one.